know bodies are from me for months. I'm doing better than I ever was. Well, hello, people of the internet. My name is Kevin, and welcome back to a new video. I don't want to say another video because it's been, I think, seven months or so since my last video. I literally, the last one I did was for Heartstopper. So it's been a while, and I literally promised you in that Heartstopper video, I'm going to do an update video about what's been going on in my life, where I've been, all that kind of stuff. Cut to seven months later. And here we are. So I'm so sorry for the big cliffhanger I just left you on. I don't know if anyone's even still interested here or if you missed me or whatever, but I'm back hopefully for a while now. I don't know how often I'm going to post videos, but I'm going to get back into it. But I knew I needed to start with the update video because you guys are just going to be like, okay, but why are you not addressing what's happened? Where have you been? So that's what this video is going to be about. Okay, so I have like literally a lot of things that have gone on in my life. Like 2023 was a very whirlwind of a year for me. It was one of the best years of my life and also one of the most difficult years of my life. It was a huge thing, but mainly positives and that's the good thing to know. So like in case you're wondering where I was, it wasn't mainly for bad or sad reasons. It was actually for very, very happy reasons. The very first one that is probably the most important and probably the one a lot of you are wondering about, but if you follow me on Instagram, follow me on TikTok, which if you don't, you should definitely go do that. But if you don't, you probably won't know this information, but I have a boyfriend now and me and him have been together for almost a year and he's actually over there in the room right now and he's going to join me so you guys are going to get your little cameo moment with him. That was your cue to come over here. Ta-da! Hi guys. So, do you want to introduce yourself? Okay. Um, Olá pessoas da internet, eu sou o Gabriel. Brasileiro e sou namorado do Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> well, hi guys, I'm Gabriel, I'm Brazilian and I'm Kevin's boyfriend. So we've been together for almost a year now. Literally our one year anniversary is Sunday. So I'm posting this on a Sunday. The next Sunday it's our one year anniversary. So once again, that's probably a big thing for you guys because you're like, what the hell? You've had a boyfriend for like a whole year and we have not even seen him. But like I said, if you follow me on Instagram and TikTok, you definitely would have already seen him. But go follow him. Yeah. 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 Definitely. Thank you. Go follow do him. Do that promo. Come on, do it. Go, yeah, go follow him. It. Follow him on TikTok. Follow mm. him on Instagram yes. for creative content, for all the things that are fun, all the crack. Do you know what? All the Just crack. Do it. <laughs> Anyone who's not Irish is going to be like, what do you mean all the crack? <laughs> going to be like, crack? <laughs> Not the drug. Not the drug, guys. This is like Irish. Fun. Yeah, yeah. the fun. Yeah. You know? Yeah. 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 We've been going out for now for going out. We've been <laughs> together for like a year now. Um, lots of stuff have happened. We've traveled together. We've gone through a lot of emotions together. We've gone through hard times. We've gone through very happy times. And we're so strong. We're yeah. so good. That's enough of the little cutesy moments because I don't want to be really cringe. Be like, oh my god, like I love him. Like, like, I, love him. Uh, like I love all the like, like, you get it. You can also see from what. What can you even see? Well, I think they can. Yeah. Kinda. Kinda He's yeah. a nineteen, not nineteen eighty nine stand. Taylor, Taylor, Taylor Swift, Swift stand. Yeah. And you guys know how much I love Taylor Swift. So that would be a very crucial thing for me getting yeah. into a relationship. Is do my partner like Taylor Swift? He loves Taylor Swift. We're going yeah. to the Eras tour. Every single night she's in Dublin yeah. and once in L London as well. So I can't wait. Like literally we're so excited to have so much fun and it's his first time ever to see Taylor Swift too. Mm -hmm. So how are you going to react? Well, um, it's going to be three nights in a row. So I assume that a trip to the ER is going to be what I'm going to do next because my throat will be gone. Yeah, I'm so excited. I'm so happy to be sharing this moment with him and um, yeah. Mm. Cutie. Also, guys, another thing is that he is a reader. Let's get a little round of applause, everyone. He is a reader. And I've made him read some books that I recommended. So do you want to tell them which ones I've made you read? Or not made you read. I've recommended to you yeah. when you've read them. I read um, Black Flamingo, Heartstopper Volume 1. We read mm -hmm. them together. And the other one was The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, which was my favorite of them all. Um, it was just so cool, so nice. And um, yeah, I'm, we're still reading, guys. I'm a slow reader because you know what, immigrant. And um, <laughs> But you know what? Try to read in two languages and then you talk to me, okay? Not but, the sound uh, <laughs> they do to you. <laughs> Don't but, scream at them. Sorry. I'm sorry. I apologize for my behavior. Um, but yeah, it's just been fun. So I loved it because when he read The Black Flamingo, like he literally came to me and he was just like, thank you so much for recommending this book to me. Like I've felt so, 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 so yeah. seen in this book. And I was like, 
that's how I felt when I read it. Yeah. And then when we were on holiday in Gran Canaria last summer, he was reading The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo and he literally was like reading it. And then we read it together near the end. We were reading it in sync because I was like, yeah, this is like the best part of the book and I'm just so sad. And then he read it, he got emotional. And yeah, it's just so fun watching someone read the books that you love and getting to experience their experience of reading it. And literally on our first text that we ever, one of our first texts on, I'm not going to say the name of the dating app because they're not paying me. us. They're Sponsor not paying me. us. Yeah. But it begins with a T and rhymes with Flinder. Em yeah. <laughs> There's a flame emoji. And, yeah. And it begins know, with a T. But we went yeah. there. So on one of our first texts, he was talking, like I had in my bio that I love to read books. And then he was just like, oh, I love to read books. And then he told me like, guess what my last book that I read was. And I was like, um, I can't did I guess something? I don't think so. I don't so. think I did. But then you were just like, I'll give you a hint. Yeah. History, huh? Yeah. And I was like, oh my god, he's read Red, White, and Royal Blue. This is the man for me. It's been a whirlwind, it's been a whole year. And yeah, I just wanted to introduce you guys to him because in future vlogs and stuff, you might see him in the background and you're like, who the hell is that? Now you know who it is. So, oh, yeah. this is him. This is Meo Gostoso. Meo Lindo, Meo Tudo, Meo Cheroso, Meo Namorado. Meo Amor de Minibita. And. He's learning Portuguese, yeah. yes, God, because if he wants to date a Brazilian, he needs to learn my language. Yeah. Because yeah. I learned his language, why can he learn mine? Eu falo um pouco de Portuguese. Yeah. Mas eu não entendo tudo. Tá bom. Yeah. Tá bom. I try. He tries. I guys. try. My mom loves him, though. She thinks that he speaks very good Portuguese for a foreigner, and... You know, it's just, he's learning, he's still learning, it's a work in process, you know? Yeah. Thank you. Thank You're you. welcome. Okay, so I'm going to update him on everything else now. This okay. is Gabriel's moment to say goodbye. Do you have any final words you want to say? Um, stream Yes and by Ariana Grande on Spotify. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Free promo for Ariana. <laughs> okay guys, so that is probably the main update that's happened with me and probably like one of the reasons that a lot of my life has been consumed by because I've just put so much into my relationship and just falling in love that's taken up so much of my last year and then there has also been just a lot of other stuff that happened so one other thing that I'm really proud of and very happy with in terms of my life journey and just mental health is that I finally took the steps and started going to therapy last year so I started in March I think March or February of last year is when I started going and honestly I've been going like at least once a month some I try to do every two weeks but I've been going a lot in this whole last year and it has been one of the best things I've ever done for my mental health I'm in the best mental state I've ever been in before I am understanding myself I understand things that are going to trigger me why I get so worked up or get anxious about certain things dealing with past traumas just so many different things and honestly therapy I know everyone says this whenever I see anyone in an update video or anything talking about the fact they've started going to therapy they always say it's the best thing I ever did for myself and I'm always like is it actually though but it really, truly is. When you find the therapist that is perfect for you and it just helps and you see the differences and everything, like your growth, it's just beautiful. Like honestly, my therapist is just a mastermind to me. Like sometimes she says things and I'm just like, my God, you are amazing. It's just the best thing I've ever done. I love going to therapy. I love my therapist. If she's watching this, hey Molly. Then the next thing to update you guys on in my life is that I have become an uncle. So my sister had a baby girl in September and I have become an uncle. So literally last year I became two new things. I became someone's boyfriend and I became someone's uncle and that is honestly one of the best things that's happened to me. Sadie is her name and she is my little lady. I always call her my little lady Sadie. I love and adore her so, so much. She is so cute. She is like the happiest little baby and I just adore her so much. I am also going to be her godfather, which I'm so excited about and I just love and adore her so much. The only other thing I want to talk to you guys about before we get to the end of this video is I want to give you guys a little recap of all the books I read in 2023. Now, before we get into that, everyone, it's not going to be a long list because 2023 was probably one of my worst reading years ever. I have been in the worst reading slump I have ever experienced. I have not felt the need to pick up a book. I have not felt the draw to pick up a book. It has been just such a whole thing. And honestly, I really enjoyed that I haven't been forcing myself. That's one of the reasons why there hasn't been a lot of content on this channel because I have been reading and this channel is about reading books. So 
I wouldn't have had content to show you guys and I would have been forcing myself to read and then you would have watched the video being like I can tell he's not interested he doesn't want to read this book you would have just felt the vibe and I didn't want to do that because I was like they deserve good quality content so that's what I'm gonna give I'm not gonna just force myself to read something in the sake of producing a YouTube video okay so in the year of 2023 aka we're now calling it Kevin's reading slump here I read a total of nine books Yeah, but my reading goal on Goodreads was only to read one book, so I succeeded. So the first book that I read, I also don't know where they are because my bookshelf has gotten so chaotic. There's just so much stuff everywhere. I have these two shelves looking kind of nice because I was like, this is going to be in the video. But just rest assured to you guys that you that everything you see on the internet is not real. The rest of my bookshelves are so cluttered. There are so many different things on it and it just looks like a mess. So please do not be like under the illusion that my bookshelves look so clean just from these two shelves because that's not the truth and social media is a lie. The first book that I read was The Heartstopper Yearbook by Alice Oseman. I'll put the book pictures here so that you know what books I'm talking about. I think I gave this four or five stars. Yeah, I think I gave it four stars because it was just like a fun little extra book if you loved the series of Heartstopper giving you some side information about things that that Alice did to create this story. It's just kind of like insider tea about the series and like obviously it's one of my favorite series so I loved getting that inside tea. Then the next book that I read was Everyone's an Alien When You're an Alien 2 by Jomni Sun. Now Chloe actually gifted this to me I think for Christmas or my birthday. I think it was Christmas last year and I read this with her and I gave it five out of five stars. I loved this book. It was so cute. It has a lot of good quotes in it about like existentialism, life, it's just a lot of funny quotes, a lot of friendship quotes. It's just very cute and adorable and I really enjoyed it. Then the next book that I read was Carrie Soto is Back by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I read this for my Patreon book club, which I don't no longer do Patreon. There's a couple of books I read here that I read for Patreon book clubs. I just want to make it sure and that you guys know I no longer do Patreon, just in case you think, oh, I need to go sign up to his Patreon or something. I, I don't do it anymore. So I read that for my Patreon book club in January. I think I gave this three out of five stars. I liked it. I didn't love it. With this one compared to like The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo or even like Daisy Jones and The Six, it was a bit too much sportsy for me and not a lot to do with like relationships with other characters because with Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo it obviously has a lot to do with film and making movies but it also has a lot to do with like Evelyn's relationships with her other characters whereas Carrie So is back doesn't really go into that that much it kind of it does like it does have bits of it but not a lot it's also just a lot more to do with like her becoming this huge tennis star again and retaining back her world records and stuff which I love tennis so I did enjoy that but I just wanted the depth that the other books that Taylor Jenkins Reid has with like the connections to other characters and I kind of just was lacking that for me and I read Highly Suspicious and Unfairly Cute by Talia Hibbert I think I also gave this a 3 out of 5 stars or I give it like a 4 3.5 I like this one. This was Tally Hibbert's first YA romance book. I enjoyed it, but there was stuff lacking for me. I think it was like the emotional depth with the characters and the romance just wasn't fully hitting. I think also I just love Tally Hibbert as an adult romance book author instead of a YA one. And I just think I've kind of progressed past the need for YA romances. Unless they're queer romances, I don't really think I gravitate towards YA ones anymore. So I think that was also a huge thing for me and a, a big realization for me that I was like, you know what? I think I just like adult romances. I don't think I like young adult ones. And then the next book that I read was Skin of the Sea by Natasha Bowen. I gave this book four out of five stars, I believe. This was a fantasy book about mermaids and sirens and it was a very fun one. I literally loved and adored this book. I really need to read the second one because this is only a duology. So I really need to read the second one. But I really enjoyed this one. Lots of action in it. Constantly something happening, which I really enjoyed. Loved the characters. Loved the world building. Loved the setting. Just, just a lot I loved about this. I can't even think of why I didn't give it the full five. I think it might have just been the fact of how quickly I read it and I didn't give myself enough time to read it at a slower pace. I think that might be the reason I didn't give it the full five. Because I didn't get enough time to connect to the characters. Then I reread Heartstopper Volume 1. I read this with Gabriel as a reread. We read it together in bed and we literally, I got to be Charlie, he got to be Nick and then we read each other's parts like we read it out loud. It was such a cute moment. Honestly, if you have a partner or someone and you're in a relationship or even just a best friend, highly recommend you reread Heartstopper where you guys assign the roles of characters and then you read those parts. 
So fun. Then the next one that I read was The Happy Couple by Nisha Dolan. I read this as part of the On Post book club because I did a lot of collaboration with them over on TikTok where I was promoting with their book club and I read this as part of the June or July book club pick. I enjoyed this one. This is definitely a book for fans of Sally Rooney because there's a lot of similarities in her writing style to Sally Rooney. But basically this book follows the happy couple which is this couple who are going to get married and they look like the happy couple but when you get to know the characters you realise they're having a lot of issues. There's a lot, lack, lot of lack of trust between the relationship and stuff. So it's like it's kind of ironic because they're called the happy couple but they're not actually the happy couple and it's leading up to their wedding day and it's kind of like are they going to get married and then you're following perspectives of everyone else who's in the wedding party and they're telling their stories about the couple and you're just getting to learn all this stuff about them and being like are they going to get married I don't think they should but you have to read it to find out if they do I give this three out of five stars I think for me what was just lacking is that I wish we had more time with characters because some characters' chapters were too short. And then the next two books I read were all in December. So December is when I've started to feel like, oh, maybe I'm kind of entering back into reading again. The first one that I read was You're a Mean One, Matthew Prince by Timothy Jan Janofsky. I don't think I'm pronouncing his last name right, but I apologize. And this one is a male-male romance. This rich boy gets sent there because he bought an island with his dad's money and to avoid getting in trouble with the press and all of these different stuff he gets sent to go live with his grandparents in their cabin and while there there is a boy who has moved in with his grandparents because they're giving him like a place to live while he goes to college and basically the two characters then have like this hating each other moment but then maybe they grow to love each other maybe Matthew Prince starts to feel the Christmas spirit and he doesn't have like the spoiled rich kid vibes anymore he starts to really appreciate the smaller things in life it's a very fun classic cliche Christmas book and that's why I really enjoyed it but I gave it three stars just because in terms of the romance it was kind of a lot of fade to grey or fade to black moments and I'm just kind of like I need to see those moments or like read those moments to believe the connection between the characters. Then the last book that I read was Heartstopper Volume 5 which is the newest book in the Heartstopper series. I actually gave this 4 out of 5 stars. This wasn't my favourite in the Heartstopper series. I felt like this book was a bit too serious in the sense that like college and trying to figure out what you're doing with your life but with Heartstopper I've always just associated with cute fun and happy vibes but then it was just so serious about like choosing where to go to college, are they going to do long distance and I'm like can we just not be serious for a moment and just go back to the happiness? I did enjoy it because it's Heartstopper. I don't think I'll ever rate one of these books lower than four stars. Okay guys, so that is basically everything I have to talk about in this video. That is the end of the video and I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope to see you guys in more videos coming up. I have a couple of ideas of videos I want to film, just need to actually film them. But yeah, hopefully I'm back now for a while. I am very active over on my other social medias like TikTok and Instagram, so make sure you're following me over there. And hopefully I will get back into YouTube now and get back into the swing of posting videos and all that kind of stuff. Let's hope, let's manifest. I know Gabriel will keep me in check and make sure I'm doing it, won't you? Yep. Thank you. That's a supportive boyfriend right there, isn't it? Yep. Are all you gonna just say is yep? Yep. Period. Okay guys, so that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hopefully will see you all very very soon for another video. So, goodbye guys. Bye! <laughs>